Welcome to the third episode of Windows Themed, let's get started. In the downloads folder I actually acquired this package which I'm going to open and by the way you should check the description and also comments for any links that are available there. So let's get started by installing cursors. So you'll have this folder inside or you might need to extract a zip package. Once you do go inside and open it up, there is white 2.0. You can also use black cursors if you like, but I'm going to use white. All you have to do is right click, copy the folder and paste it into C Windows Cursors folder. Here it is right here. I just pasted it and there it is. Let's next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Rain Meter. So here it is simply double click and go through the installation. After Rain Meter has done installing, unload all of the skins and let's keep moving on. I'm going to open up the doc folder. There's going to be simple Epoca. Simply feel free to extract it. Go inside and copy this folder inside documents rain meter skins simply right click and paste it after that's done i'm going back to main folder next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into taskbar x and i'm simply going to double click taskbar x configurator and these are the settings that i'm going to be using so i'm gonna click apply and that's going to automatically apply the taskbar x and then I'm going to simply click close. So here I am in back in the main folder. This time I'm going to go into wallpaper. And for this particular wallpaper, you need wallpaper engine, which you can acquire online in various type of ways. This is the wallpaper engine version I have. Feel free to Google for this version. However, if you don't have wallpaper engine, I have included a still wallpaper, which you can use. But for this particular tutorial, I'm going to actually use wallpaper engine. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click and copy this ascent wallpaper inside wallpaper engine projects and I'm actually going to go to default projects and simply paste it right here after I'm done I'm going back to wallpaper engine folder and simply activating launcher so here I have two of them I'm actually going to click on ascend wallpaper and activate that one and I'm gonna hit OK and I know that I activated the right one because I can see that there is movement in the background. But again, if you don't have wallpaper engine, just use the still wallpaper, which is included in the package. Next up, I'm going to go to widgets and I'm going to double click Mond, hit install. And I'm simply going to select 24 hours and Celsius and click close settings. And I'm also double clicking Phoenix and hitting install. And I'm going to click X. Let's see what we got this time. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to have a couple of configurations. So first things first, recycle bin. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. Then I'm also going to center this player. And I'm going to right click and untick show desktop icons under view. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the rain meter and configure it a little bit. First what I'll do is I'll go to simple epoca. And I'll look for dock and I'm actually going to click on it and hit load. This will actually load the dock, which I can move down here, up here, wherever you like. But I think I'm going to keep it. But yeah, I think I'm going to keep it right here. With this particular skin, you also get a couple of extra options. Like for example, CPU, which looks like this. You also have a bunch of other things. So feel free to browse and see what you like. There's also player, for example, which looks like this. But yeah. Really, it's up to you. Just browse and load each one and see if you like how it looks like. Next, you can also go to Phoenix and System. And here you have a bunch of things. For example, you have battery. You can load that. And that's how that looks like. You also have, for example, CPU. So yeah, feel free to load whatever you desire. Next, I'm going to Mond. And I'm actually going to look for weather and unload that. That's, that was this little... A dot right there we can close that and next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to match the icons just a little bit better to the whole theme so let's change last four icons or you can change all of the icons if you want to it's really up to you so I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how you can change the icons to change the icons simply right click on any icon on the dock go to dock settings the text file will open scroll down under dock settings and these are all of the icons actually as you can see it says my computer my documents video pictures all you have to do is change the this particular part this is actual icon so let me show you how that's changed since i want to change it for the last four here's what i'm going to do i find the icon name and the path i also go back to main folder and inside i have a couple of icons so what i'm going to do is actually copy the path to these icons simply like that and then i'm simply going to add the name of the icon 
So that's the name dot ico. And I'm simply going to do that for Gmail, Facebook, and Google. Then for Google Chrome, it's actually this name. So all I'm basically doing is pointing to the icons. And we also have Gmail. So let me do that really quickly. And there we go. Now if I click File, Save, I can minimize all of this and I can right click and go to Refresh Skin. As you can see, the icons actually change. Now you will do notice that the icons and the player are actually a little different color. I can actually change that by going back to Rain Meter Settings looking for settings here and hitting load and you'll notice that the settings will open action I can actually close this now and under player button color I click there and you'll notice that the color panel opens up I click and hold this color picker and I simply move and choose the color of uh, the icons and I hit OK and you'll notice now the actual color matches one more thing that i totally forgot is the actual cursor we did install the cursor but we didn't change it so i'm going to open up the start and type in cursor and actually click on any of these on the right side i click additional mouse settings additional mouse options and this opens up i go to pointers i'm going to choose none and i'm going to go to normal click browse and actually point to the folder where the cursors are and i'll select the first one you can also keep going on and select other ones if you want for example here we have this one I'm also gonna turn on enable pointer shadow and I'm gonna hit OK and we can go back and there you go basically we are done so yeah, if you don't want to drag something simply right click on it go to settings and untick draggable and as you can see I cannot drag it anymore and one final step guys all that is left is to open up the song folder and play the song minimize the folder minimize the Winamp player and enjoy your new beautiful beautiful desktop I know I do sound like a commercial but it really is nice anyhow thank you so much for tuning into the third installment of Windows themed series of course there will be plenty more in future so feel free to subscribe to the channel and follow this series and find out more desktops that I am going to showcase to you guys in the future and uh, yeah consider leaving a like maybe comment share the video that's about it thank you so much once again my name is priest and i'll see you in future episodes peace